Culture Secretary Nadine Dorries this morning says the BBC licence fee should be scrapped entirely. Yes, it comes after the current Culture Secretary, Lucy Fraser, said the licence fee should not go up in a cost of living crisis. At the moment, the BBC costs households £159 a year, but a rise in line with inflation would see it go up to around £173. We asked if you'd be willing to pay more for the corporation's services. I think that the whole of the BBC gives huge value to the money. Total waste of money. Uh, I don't think it's value for money. For four channels, not really. I mean, it, it makes you wonder whether you would go to more online streaming services. Yeah, it's fine. It's a bu public broadcaster. I think it's money well spent. I feel like it's not fair to pay. I prefer to give it to someone who needs it. Mm. So should the licence fee be frozen? Broadcaster Nina Mishkov says it should be held, but she says to help struggling viewers. Well, former Newsnight political journalist Michael Crick says it'd still be value for money if it goes up. Um, good morning to you both. Michael, you used to work, of course, for Newsnight. In this very building. In this building. But Newsnight, which is bearing the brunt of the cuts that the BBC is having to make, what further cuts would the BBC make? What would we lose if the licence fee didn't go up? Well, I mean, that would be exactly my point. Uh, there comes a point where you can't carry on salami slicing a bit off here and a bit off there and a bit off there. You actually have to start saying, right, we're going to have to scrap something big altogether. I mean, you know, like regional television or, uh, uh, the, the, uh, you know, a, a certain a, a radio channel or local radio. Um, and, I mean, the cuts on Newsnight are drastic. I mean, two -thir nearly two-thirds of the staff are going. It's going to be st stopped doing investigative reporting, yeah. uh, most of its specialist reporters will be going. It'll basically just be uh, a studio-based programme. And that's an example of what happens if you keep squeezing the licence fee. The licence fee is very, very good value for money. You don't just get your television channels, radio channels, local radio, the internet. I mean, it, 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 I cannot believe there are people out there who don't listen or watch some aspect of yeah. the BBC at some point during the course of the year. Nina Mishkova, you won <laughs> over by the, the, the plaintive plea, don't cut, don't hold. No, because at this time, people are so squeezed financially. We've got winter, and well, we're in winter, mm. that's going to go for three or four months. Electricity bills, gas bills, um, Christmas, because everybody's splurging on Christmas because we're all so depressed. Um, and come April, when the, when the fee was supposed to go up, we, we're going to be, you know, in debt. I completely agree with Michael. The BBC is wonderful. The corporation provides mm. so much, but it needs to be restructured. Now, I don't trust this government, the current government, to do that. You, you, you know, let's get this mob out, get the next lot in, and then people you can trust help to restructure the BBC because... Do you think it, it should go to... Nadine Doris says she wants it to go to a subscription fee model. No, I like don't... Like Netflix, like Disney, I don't, like Apple. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. What would you... How would you fund it? Well, the th I don't... I'm, I'm not the expert, <laughs> but I, it seems to me you, you, you don't put the fees up. The people... The thing is, the people who watch the things that the BBC, the, in, in the traditional way, like sit down, put the telly on, what's on, or mm. watch Strictly, which is a, an yeah. absolute delight for all of us. It's just so uplifting at this time of year, and, and we need that. Or an Attenborough programme. But it's not just that. It's like people turn on the telly, and there's the familiar face in the corner doing the news, doing a programme like this, what, whatever. So that's your, your friend and your family. And, and the people that, who are suffering the most, that those are people, those are older people who watch television in the traditional way, who don't have Netflix. I mean, Netflix can do wonderful dramas, wonderful documentaries. But A, not, you know, only 50% of the country has it. But other people can't afford it. Mm. And they don't want that. They want this companionship. You talked about local radio. They, they want yeah. the companionship mm. of radio, of... But why single out the BBC? I and mean, if you look at the, the government's plans, mm. the autumn statement a week ago, they are going to raise the vehicle tax in line with inflation, air passenger duty in line with inflation, alcohol taxes in line with inflation. They're putting everything up in line with inflation. Why should the BBC be the people who have to have another below inflation rise when all these other taxes are going up with inflation? Well, that's exactly why not what, just kind because of... they can't, people, they can't, people just can't afford well, it. Why does they, the BBC have to take the burden all the time 
uh, and which is squeezing the BBC, squeezing the quality of the BBC's output. Now, I, I recognise in the long term an alternative way of funding the BBC has to be worked out. I don't think the licence fee can last forever. Um, and uh, it, it's difficult to get everybody to pay the licence fee, frankly, and it does appear that certain people are... more, A lot more people are, are, are people watching it, it last watching year. without, without, without 400, the licence. 400,000, I but, think but, it was. The... So those are people... Yeah. There may be people who are just, you know, trying to chance, but most of those people are people who cannot afford it. Well, remember, if you're over 75 and you're on pension credits, at least you can get a, a, a free licence. Um, which is uh, an advantage. And if, if yes, we could devise a system if you're whereby you're 75 it was more and not on pension yeah. credit, you, you pay, still have to yeah. pay, like I do. Yeah. 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 And, um, and it, of course, it's a criminal offence, Michael, if you don't pay. So, of course, if you can't afford it, you don't pay, you get, you get fined for it. You have a criminal record. I mean, it, it inspires very strong feelings. Look, a number of people have got in touch with us this morning. Cathy, just bin the BBC licence. It's a joke, subscription only for anyone who actually wants it. April, I believe we should scrap the TV licence. The BBC should go to adverts to make up its revenue. John, freeze the licence fee forever. Serves the BBC right for charging over 75-year-old pensioners a licence fee. Um, Beth, as pensioners aged 76, we had hoped we would receive help by not having to pay any more. It's just unsustainable for us. Well, I mean, freezing it, the, 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 the quality would inevitably go down over time. Mm. Uh, in terms of funding it by advertising, well, that has been suggested, but the trouble is they'd then be competing with you, ITV, and the other commercial channels. There's a limited amount of advertising, and, and with the newspapers, of course, so the media as a whole would suffer, and I think if we... If you got agree. rid of the licence fee entirely, Michael, I mean, Sorry. over 20 million people are currently paying this licence fee. If you got rid of it and said it was going to be a subscription model, then the BBC would end up a quarter, a fifth, a tenth of the size of now? Well, There'd be no uh, who BBC knows? radio and region. Who knows how you could structure the subscription? And this is something that's got to be thought through in the long term. But I suspect yeah. you're right that there wouldn't be anything like the same kind of income, we despite the success of Sky, despite the success of we, uh, Netflix. We need and... to protect... I agree. We need yes. to protect the BBC. Right. But it needs to... It needs to be, the way forward is to, is to restructure it, because it has been fantastically inefficient, you know, very bloated, and for many years, oh, the arrogant attitude, oh, we're the BBC. There are... There's far too... Like the NHS, there are far too many managers and not enough people who are actually making programmes who contribute. I mean, if you wander through any, say, broadcasting house, you, you look and think... Who are all these people? What do you do? What, what do you actually contribute to a programme? That, when you consider the, the number of programmes that go on air mm. and, 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 and on radio, I, you think, what do you contribute? I would be surprised well, uh, if there are people in BBC Broadcasting House who are literally getting a salary for doing absolutely nothing. Not doing but, nothing, but, but the, there are ways and ways of doing it. And the BBC is a wonderful... The corporation is a wonderful structure. It needs to be preserved. It needs to be, but not at the expense of Michael, people who can't we've, afford to yeah, eat and eat. Yeah, I mean, that's the bottom line, isn't it? So, Michael, if this goes ahead, if they don't get the £15 a year increase from, I think it's April next year, what will go? I mean, we've already seen Newsnight become Newslight. Well, I, I, think, I think it will, inevitably, uh, staff will go and the quality of the mm. programmes will go down. And I think the BBC managers will have to say, right, uh, this is a whole area, you know, maybe get rid of local radio stations altogether. Mm. Um, and, and not even that probably wouldn't make it. It'll get rid of BBC drama or something drastic like that. I mean, we're talking about big money here. Yeah. As soon if, as you, if, if you, if, you know, as soon as things no, are mentioned, you, you no, can yes, imagine yes. people go, oh, no, but don't get rid of that. No, yes. I, but there, I say it needs to be, it needs to be just smartened up. Well, they've done, uh, all sorts of efficiency savings have been made over the years. I mean, there are still... There's still yes, but there are st it's there's still, still things to be done, but they're not, they're not on a scale and, and, that would deal yeah. with There's still a conversation to be had, clearly. <laughs> we have to leave our conversation there, and let's though. be very clear, if it wasn't for all the people you don't see behind the scenes, there'd be no Good Morning Britain, because they all do a hugely important job, which is not seen um, on exactly. the screen. If, if it's just you and me... What would we be? I know. We, well, we <laughs> certainly wouldn't be here. We would not. But, I mean, I we particularly be wouldn't here. be here, cos I started at the BBC. <laughs> Look, at least Laura's here. Look, we all, we all love the corporation. We do. We do. Yeah, we do. We agreed on that.